Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, right, people? CT three hundred twenty five here, and I'm finally here doing a review on a Nerf gun. Yay! And I am here reviewing the Nerf Sledgefire. Now, as you can tell, I took all the clips out. It comes with three clips. Each clip holds three bullets each, as you can see in here. This is a snap action. I am not sure if that's the proper name for it. Basically, what a snap action is, if it's only this, we have to do that. I will warn you though that this thing does shoot all three bullets in it at once. So, so you're gonna have to reload pretty often. This is a war practical gun. As far as um shotguns go, this is a war practical gun. Tactical rail right here. And weirdly there's not a tactical rail on the bottom where they clearly have enough room. The reason why I think they didn't do that is because of this. Yeah, I don't think there'll be enough room for the attachment on bottom go. Iron sights? Actually, none. There is no physical sights on this, except for right here. Kind of an iron sight, but there isn't another sight to line it up with, which makes it kind of hard to aim. In order to load, you gotta push that down. Do it, check that out. Put it in. Get drill. And as the stock, this stock is not removable. Actually, there there are ways to remove this, but I don't think this is really. It's not really worth my time investing in researching. See, I'm just gonna leave that. You, there is no end strike attachments for more muzzles, whatever you want to call them. Because in all honesty, if the barrel itself ain't long enough, you got some serious problems to sort through. I have not had a chance to range test this for, um, well, for actually two reasons. Number one, I actually, um, well, I didn't get this one. Well, I got this from Amazon, but not from the company, but from someone who was selling it. The, it came in with the box in mint condition, but seeing how I got it off of Amazon, I have no way of knowing if this gun was modern or not. So I can't really range test it. And I don't have the money to go out at a, at a Toys R Us or whatever to buy a full stock blaster to compare it. So yeah, so I cannot range test this. I have no way of knowing if it's modern or not. But all in all, I can tell it's shooting just as hard as all the other Nerf guns out there. Well, in the Elite line, anyway. Now, my opinion. This blaster, I'd have to say, is one of the best blasters I've seen so far. Next to Retaliate, Retaliator or the Mega Magnus. is one of the best guns I've seen compared to those. Really, all I can say is that this is the best gun they've came out with so far. The only problem, I, there's only a few problems I see with that. This gun is a little bit different. If you ask me, they should have had, if you ask me, this snap action, um, ain't really that practical, and the three shot ain't that good either, because you're going to burn through ammo fast. Because if you don't have a sidearm with you and with when you're in a Nerf war, yeah, you're going to be like, every five seconds, we're like, reload! I got reload, I got reload, and like, okay. well, you get the idea. You'll basically be pulling darts out. In case you need a visual on how to load it, you do this. Well, not how to load it on how to take it out. You put it in like this. Oops, super light. You can also put it in like this, but that oh, that falls out pretty easily. You put it in like this. Takes a lot to get it out, as you can tell. So yeah. So that's really it. Anyway, guys, I'm CT225, and I'll see you later, recruits.